Siri, sí. ¿me puedes recomendar otro curso para aprender más español, like a good fucking course? Because hace 15 años que I'm looking for one. Lo siento, Damon, pero un curso así no existe. Guess I gotta go make that one too. ¿A dónde vas, Damon? To make the Spanish course everybody needs. Todo bien, Damon. Things I do for this channel. Tres meses después. <laughs> yeah, I cut it off. I actually made a mistake and then I cut it off. Like, oops. Hola, chicos, listos? Lo hice una vez y acabo de hacerlo de nuevo. I just did it again, otra vez. <laughs> I moved. No. I made a Spanish course. Two, dos, dos cursos. And I knew as soon as I posted the French course, Damon, I knew I had to do a Spanish course. My courses are called everything I wish I had learned in French class and in Spanish class. And of course, <laughs> do I look like I speak Spanish? No, that's the literal point though. Yeah, that's right, baby. So yo, tu profesor de Espanol. I'm not Latino. What? Wait, he's not? not? No, 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 no. Wait. I thought he was Cuban this whole time. And that's the whole point. Because we're interested in other cultures that we're not from. I still don't believe him. Literally, literally don't believe him. Are you sure? Literally shook. Well, not gonna apologize for being me. <laughs> I really do think one of the best ways to learn the language is not only to work with a native speaker, but also to work with somebody who's in this process with you or who's been there, who can understand how your brain works. So I know what problem, I know your questions. So you, as an English speaker, are gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna say un otro, and other. Wrong. Right idea. And I get why you're doing it. You're like, oh, well, cualquier is probably for masculine, cualquiera. Probably for, femi for feminine, because that's how you do the rest of the language. Wrong. Right thinking. You're all, like, it's, there's still something up there. Una pregunta is a question. To ask is preguntar. So to ask a question is preguntar una pregunta. Wrong! That's what I wanted y'all to say. Wrong. Logo. Oh. Incorrect. <laughs> of course, all the funny moments. Like, I'm not about to film an entire, like, 40 hour course. It's not gonna be fun for me. Hola, chicos. Como se dice, this is a long ass chapter. Dame, give me. Give me what? Mas gasolina. Tu novio es muy guapo. ¿Quieres el mío? ¿Cuál de tus amigos es el más aburrido? You can say it. You can write it. Tienes una cabeza grande. You have a big head. Tú ibas a hacer esto y tú ibas a decir esto, pero tú no lo hiciste. But you did it. Say it with me. What's the rule? Lay low, unless you got something to say. And the last one. How do we say I sold my soul to corporate America? Guapo. Why are we using S and not esta? Because, like, did you see him? <laughs> All the words that I think you should know. Guno, not one of you goon heads. Mentira. That's a lie. Like, you're gonna be like, you're a liar. Mentiroso. I was saying something really confusing and now I'm gonna clear it up, so as to see. That's one of those moves where it's like, <laughs> got him. Anytime you do something that I approve of, I'm gonna be like, eso. It looks like jury. The jury is sworn in. Te lo juro. Yo, I swear. In English, we'd say, I swear. Psicoterapeuta. Okay? No es puta. <laughs> puta es otra cosa. What the grammar books are gonna teach you, but what you could skip. Skip it, you're never gonna say that. It doesn't matter, like, it, so half this shit, like, you can just say what you want. If you look at any other Spanish book, there's gonna be, like, five columns. Tú, usted, nosotros, vosotros, ustedes, and it's like... <sighs> most books are gonna be like, oh, qual just means which. No, it doesn't. No, it does not suck. Which is your name? We wouldn't say that, so why is it qual? That's why I'm not teaching it that way. Like again, they're gonna teach you these separately and you're gonna think like, oh my God, there's all these rules, when in fact, it's the same rule. One second. I hit you with quizzes. You liked what your spiritual guru said this morning, but wait, 
Isn't that a Drake lyric? You always have to remind your friend that she already met your other friend and that she shouldn't like last time say, nice to meet you. You're in front of the jury trying to explain why you should be free. Okay, so you're leaving the grocery store and the cashier will say something like, it's getting very intense between you and your little lover over there as if it was your first night together. Which of these sentences aren't necessarily wrong but could make you start questioning things a few hours later when you're in the shower just washing your hair. All right, then we got the homework, but it's fun homework. Siempre he sido fiel, okay? So I don't know, I'm getting pissed at this game. These days are not day. They're they. De noche de día. It sounds so much better. De noche de día, de noche de día. Entonces Nati Poluso también canta. Sa na 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 na. Because you guys, you gotta understand. Quiere tu azúcar y tu no se lo das. They're doing it in that song. Now you're gonna be in the club like, say is actually replacing the land because that's an indirect object and the low is a direct object replacing sugar and two is the subject and das is the conjugated form of two in the, for the verb da. So actually the whole sentence is, you're actually not giving the sugar to him. Everything I wish I had learned in Spanish class is the continuation of everything I wish I had learned in French class. This is part of my spider web. I'm I got the travel videos, got the travel book coming out, launched my website, did the headshots, got uh, the French courses done. I launched two French cultural guides, how to flirt, fall in love with fucking French, and how to like basically navigate French small talk and awkward situations. Now we got Spanish level one, Spanish level two. Yeah, I'm also in Miami. I've been in Miami for desde hace tres meses, ya. Been here for three months. Not only doing the Spanish course, but also just handling dumb administrative stuff that comes along with being a global citizen. Like my driver's license was gonna expire. I told you it was boring and dumb. So I needed to get a driver's license. <laughs> what else? I turned 31, went to New York, had probably one of the best birthdays I've had in my life. Happy I'm so embarrassed already. I'm so excited. I don't know if that was New York. I don't know if it was being out of Paris. I don't know if it was just that this, everything was going so well. I'm in a really good spot right now, which I couldn't say in the last few videos. Like every video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Um, like, do you hear me? I'm laughing a lot. Like, why? Because I'm happy to be here. Because the Spanish course is done. Because I said that I would do it and I did. Now I just gotta whiten these teeth because I've been drinking so much cold brew. <laughs> After this, I'm going to Mexico to edit the Spanish course. After this, I'm going to Mexico to edit the Spanish course. Oh shit, I was supposed to be editing that. <sighs> it's all just happening. What's happening? I don't know, life. <laughs> Life is happening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for enrolling. Thank you to Trader Joe's for making cold brew concentrate. Thank you to Miami for having so much eye candy. Now what happened to my apartment? What happened to Paris? What happened to France? I still love all of that and I still have it over there. Like you guys, I'm, this is what I'm gonna start doing. When I wink, you know that I'm subletting. Like I can't go on my social media profiles and be yelling this from the rooftops. I'm not supposed to be, I don't think. Although my landlord's so freaking cool, I don't even know if he minds. Like, shh, like shut up, God. Like, I can't be saying everything all the time. Don't know if I could talk about this stuff. My book, like, it's happening. <laughs> this is why you guys need to learn another language. Go take my Spanish course, I'm done. Turn that thing off. Learning a language is deeper than just like grammar. I love languages in general. I think it's fascinating. And it's like the key to a whole new group of people that otherwise I would have never been able to speak to. And like perhaps they know things that I could benefit from. <laughs> Look up um, a live performance of the song. I feel like it's inspiring actually. It like motivates you to keep wanting to learn Spanish to be like, oh my God, these people are all in this audience because they connect over a culture that I didn't even know existed. And they're sharing a beautiful moment over there. I wanna share the beautiful moment. We're learning languages so we can like have cool moments in life.